into the printing and decided to just put it in one of my phones. So actually, it's very interesting to discuss um, Korean novellas or key dramas as they are known outside uh, the Philippines vis-a-vis -vis Philippine dramas. Although technically, we actually were ahead of the Koreans. We already had television as early as the mid-50s, and they started theirs late 50s, and then it stopped, it, the, the, the broadcasting network was closed shop, and then afterwards, they started in 61, and they st started with historical dramas, and it never really took off until fairly recently, after the Asian crunch of 1997. Uh, originally, the Korean novellas were actually rip-offs from what was known as J-dramas, or in Japan, they're known as Japanese trendy dramas. Trendy because, on the whole, the Japanese and Korean dramas uh, go around 15 to 20 weeks. Kahit box office hit siya, hindi siya, uh, hindi na extend kasi talagang yun lang yung, yung maximum niya and they just create new ones and it's something that I I wish would happen in the Philippines that we would limit to 15 weeks because it's very tight and very, very, it's really excellent. Until now, I still watch, uh, usually after I jog at night, uh I turn on sa Alirang tsaka sa Channel M. So I'm, I'm, I'm always updated. Actually, my Korean connection was I was a Korean Foundation Fellow. I was a visiting professor at Seoul National University and Yonsei University in 1995. Uh, but uh, basically, so my comments is first, it's a very interesting, the, the, the study has very interesting potential because of the industry that we have. Um, in the Philippines now, in the old days, you would say uh, you make movies to add glamour and glitter to your career in the entertainment industry. These days, your bread and butter is really television. Like uh, some of my closest friends in the industry, like Jeffrey Chiturian, uh, made all these outstanding films like Obrador and, 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 and Pila Valde and Tuo. But um, he wasn't earning a lot. It was when he did uh, uh, dramas like Be Careful With My Heart, where he actually started earning money in his, in his day 40s. The class in the that is the army that Santiago that Papa Hain gave Jeffrey for 15 years uh, because he didn't have money, you know. So yun yung industry. Yeah. So basically, um, uh, so the following comments. Uh, I think it's very important to contextualize the choices. Uh, if there is a chance to revise, either the option of the scholar is either to select dramas of similar genres or compare uh, yung Baker King the original with Baker King, yung dalawang version. That would be more palatable, I think. Although, it's possible to use ang provinciano and then look for a Korean counterpart. And there are counterparts uh, when you expand the study because that would be very interesting. Sign naman yung nasimula na sa, sa subject. Um, to discuss the similarity. Otherwise, kung ang choice mo talaga yung Baker King, my husband's lover, uh, and then uh, provinciano, you must try to, to, to discuss the similarities and differences and why the choice of all these similar, seemingly not very uh, related uh, uh, dramas to each other. Number two, um, in the study at some point, there, I, I, I would suggest that the, that the researcher will have to uh, probably apply for a grant to go to Korea and be able to interview either um, uh, actors and production people involved in, 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 in such productions or a scholar who can probably articulate no one says that, that we may not be able to acquire while while discussing it here in the Philippines. Uh, it's also very important that, that K-drama has emerged as a genre and uh, it drew inspiration from J-dramas I mentioned earlier and because of the, K of the Asian crunch of 1997, the entertainment industry decided to put themselves together and then use it as a way to generate money for the country. And then when it started to pick up, the, the government started to support massively uh, the initiatives of the entertainment industry. Uh, I mentioned that the, the, the South Korea started to broadcast the drama series only in the 1960s. Tayo, no 50s, we had uh, Ilo ng Tahan, and no 60s, we had Sa Kazita and Mary Rose. And, uh, hindi na alam to ng mga bibing niya. <laughs> you know, I was at the tail end of that era. And then, uh, we had series like Yung Dino Broca Presents, Panagim Pan, sa Salamisim, starring uh, Marlene Dauden. Hindi <laughs> na rin siya kilala. Which is one of our greatest actresses. 
and then um, so, so basically um, as I mentioned earlier yung, yung, yung Japanese trend in drama the key novellas 12 to 24 on the average 15 weeks but 12 to 24 it's really massive so basically um, it's very important to discuss that in the context of the Philippines because in the Philippines we do not have that, that kind of limit um, uh, for the longest time the Korean dramas uh, work on a very tight schedule and and um, there's usually just one director and one screenwriter and in the Philippines there's a unit uh, there's a director one main director but there's a director two three four so there are different styles uh, in, in contrast to the Korean novella is some director in the shots and, uh, and and that's a big difference uh, but which may affect the results of the production the research on the production processes the, 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 the screenplays are, are like in the Philippines flexible and they change anytime during production depending on the viewers feedback and putting the actors sometimes in a difficult situation and production companies often face financial issues um, in contrast uh, in the Philippines usually if it's an ABS-CBN drama or the TTP uh, there's more or less budget to finish the production uh, the Korean novellas are very popular worldwide and, and I think um, the big difference is that in the Philippines uh, our uh, our, 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 our dramas um, uh, usually last to several months. You know? be careful with my heart, two years. Because si Jeffrey Tutorial na bigyan ng, ng Lupas of Timberland, ng condo sa likod ng ABS, at saka may property siya sa, sa Roses in Lushotan Townhouse. So pwede ka namang muntan na yun sa for all those things that you did to him when you did that month. Uh, one aspect of Korean novellas that the Philippines may not necessarily have, may ang, ang Korean novellas, part of the popularity na nag add up doon, yung, yung merong uh, yung launch the CD, done by the stars of the show to, to launch the production. Ito, it's not necess a necessity, but uh, actually the CDs, the soundtrack, aids in, 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 in the popularity, uh, further popularity of the Korean K novellas. So that is an interesting aspect that may be considered. And then, uh, last five points um, it's amazing that despite the fact that so in fact if I were to of course I'm not going to force Professor Santos about this but if I were to write something like this I would compare let's say Baker King or I would compare a, a Japanese Korean developer let's say with Pangako Sayo because Pangako Sayo enjoyed tremendous popularity overseas in Southeast Asia and in Africa in fact when I was delivering a paper in 2003 in Kuala Lumpur the University of Malaya um, when I started talking, I was the last speaker. Nag-alisan yung mga tao. Sabi ko, is there something wrong with me? Nag-apologize sila kasi it was the last episode of Pang Ako Sayo and they all went home and leaving only 20 people in the audience to listen to me. So, um, part of the reason why, why um, th th there has to be reasons why the selection was, was, was made. So, uh, if the study focused on Provinciano and Let's say, uh, and, 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 and then My Husband's Lover and Illustrado, vis a the versions of David King, we find similarities uh, why, they, despite the differences, there's something worth studying about all of them in one research project. And then archival and field research, I think it's important to discuss, to find out uh, if there were Filipinos who actually did um, research, MA thesis dissertations on the subject, and how you are filling in a gap, how different is your project from all, all, from all the existing projects that have been done on the subject. Um, context and nature, um, so, so what were the things that were being done on the project and how different is the project from everything else. Um, also, um, this is uh, uh, something that you need to acquire at a certain point when you're doing a research project. Aside from the archival and field research, you must offer your unique insight towards the end which will spread the big difference between you and all the other studies being on the subject. Uh, last three points, uh, I also urge the scholar to engage further by way of, um, I already said that, archival field research in order to enhance the rendition of the production processes. I'd also recommend the scholar um, to even out the study by focusing not just on the Philippine aspects of the research, but also on the Korean aspects. Uh, maybe collaborate with a scholar, or probably a, a short grant that will enable the scholar to get exposed and, 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 and have a, 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 a more um, 
uh, probably uh, be more culturally enriched in, in, in comparing and contrasting production processes. Uh, most importantly, I think uh, that the study is actually uh, very interesting because uh, there are not too many uh, materials being done on Philippine vis -vis Korean research in the field of humanities in the Philippines. And uh, by touching on this subject, maybe this can start off and enable uh, younger scholars to pursue other aspects of research between Korea and the Philippines relating to arts and humanities. So I will end. Thank you.